Hi there. Uh, this is um, we're going to do a my first real uh, CNC milling uh, on my Makesmith that actually does something. Uh, the this morning I did this one. Ah, uh, some trouble with my camera here. I did this. Um, just a square. I made it on MakerCam.com. Uh, just two profiles, one on the outside and one on the inside. Uh, and as you can see here, it's with the mills. I bought a 10 pack on eBay, quite cheap. So it is actually very nice. I did one millimeter at a, at a time. Uh, so what I'm going to do now is one of these, but for a pen. Uh, so you can see on my screen there, probably won't see that much, it is the Makesmith ground control loaded with the NC file that I also made on uh, makercam.com. So didn't take too long, maybe half an hour. Uh, so. Let's do this here and uh, let's see what comes of this. Okay, so this morning's uh, test drive with making a pen holder for the makers, uh, Makersmith um, didn't turn out quite as good as I hoped. Uh, even though I tried to fix it, uh, I am now here in the evening trying going to do a, another run where I fixed a few things. Uh, the pockets here, or the insets, or whatever it's called, I've made them outside of this so they will be more square same with this one is uh, I don't remember uh, no, if you remembered it was a small tab left there so it was it will go outside the outer uh, profile and cut that away as well and the pen holder itself is bigger and it is now a pocket instead of a profile so it will take away all the the stuff inside the, there's stuff left inside there so that will be gone I also went and bought some new material I now have 8 millimeters MDF instead of before 13 millimeters which, which was a bit thick and I couldn't get all the way through uh, so I now have one for my uh, I don't know what you call it, the thing to keep the drill from not destroying the whole machine um, when it goes through and then another one to put on top like that and then instead of using this and this to hold it together which I did this morning I now bought real uh, clamps that is going to hopefully hold it well it did hold good this morning as well but now it will probably, hopefully, hold even better. So we're going to take a look at this. After I'm going to fix one thing in the CAM file or CAD file or G code, I forgot the tabs because now I'm going to go all the way through. So now if I don't fix that, I'm going to have a big mess here. So after I fix that, I'll be back.
Okay. <clears throat> so there was one little mishap here and uh, the tabs didn't work so it actually got stuck in the end so I couldn't make the insets on the sides. They are not needed I guess. I just did it because the piece that I did it from had them. So let's look at what we've done here. We've done this piece but with a small insert for a pen. So what I'll do now is I'll make a hole either here or one on the sides and then I can put a pen in and I can use it to draw and see uh, the path on the actual board before uh, putting in a mill. It's not that much work needed I think. So we're taking this whole piece off. Took it to pieces as well. That wasn't my intention, but oh well. And then we just put this one in. Let's see if it fits. It fits almost like a glove. That is perfect, and it it's just out of the printer. That's awesome for a two hundred dollar CNC machine. I think this is freaking awesome. Ah. Uh, See, I need a screw of some kind. I do have some leftovers here from a CNC machine I bought recently. Hint, it's this one. So, yeah, this is overkill like nothing else. But Okay, <clears throat> except for the last part where it went nuts for some reason, I don't know why. Here is uh, the MakeSmith logo that came with uh, the test file that I think you can download from their site. Uh, done with um, my newly made pen holder just to show that it works even though the pen isn't very rigid and it's actually it's this is not a good fit I need to have uh, a longer pen and I probably need another mount up here to keep it steady or either way the thing I wanted to show is that how exact it is for how good the mix with is. I'm really impressed by this. So I'll put this up in the forum if anyone wants to have a go at it or wants to have a similar thing. Both the 
I'm using a 3.175 Dremel millimeters mil sorry not Dremel mil uh, so uh, anyone else using that can just download the G code anyone else can take the SVG file so so take care